all the letters Paul wrote to the different churches, it is so apparent how much he loved the body of Christ. Even if he had to address some issues, he always started with how thankful he was for them and how often he thought about and prayed for them. So I'm going to do a little something different this morning. I just want to start out with a simple thank you and let you know you are seen. All the staff, all the volunteers, all of you that faithfully show up every Sunday here and online. I have watched a lot of you for many years and your example of loving the church like Christ does makes more of a difference than you know. I am so incredibly blessed to be a part of this church. Ephesians instructs us to work, doing something useful with our hands, that we may have something to share with those in need. 2 Corinthians tells us to be cheerful givers, and God is able to bless us abundantly so that we can abound in good works. So let me give you something to think about. When we bring our request for provision to the Lord, do we also ask Him to give us enough to help someone else? Do we even have that mindset? that the abundance God gives us might also be intended to bless someone else. I encourage you to combine your request for provision with a heart of generosity and ask Him to allow you to bless others. Our prayer focus for this week is Daniel Kaysen Ministries. Daniel Kaysen and his team have a multifaceted ministry in the city of Birmingham that has been operating for over 20 years. Please be in prayer that God would continue to use Dr. Kaysen and his team. The annual church picnic is right around the corner. If you've been to any of them in the past, I know you're looking forward to it. If you haven't, come and see what it's all about. There will be a little something for everyone, young and old. Relax fellowship, good food, and competitive games. Just make sure you don't go up against Pastor Bruce. Mark your calendar, Sunday, September 1st, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Fun Go Holler Park in Pelham. See the bulletin for more information. God speaks to us in many ways, and I can vouch for the fact that one way He directly speaks to our hearts is through these sermons. So with great expectation and anticipation, let's welcome up Pastor Bruce.